Hello everybody and everyone. Today, I'm going fossil hunting without leaving the house, and you are welcome to come along. We will be sifting through the matrix from carboniferous deposits looking for tiny bitty fossils. I would not call them microfossils just yet, although you do need some optics to see them well. Let's dig into this pile. Are you excited? We visited Lake Bridgeport in Texas when I was just a little girl and took a few scoops of fossil-rich dirt on the side of the road. And now, over a decade later, I'll be sifting through this material, hoping to find something cool. A decade is actually nothing in comparison to the age of these rocks. They are almost 300 million years old. But look at the preservation. There are lots of sticks covered with bumps and spikes. They are fragments of sea urchin spines and crinoid stems. Sometimes it's hard to tell which one is which, but let's remember that they all are kind of relatives and belong to a class of marine animals called echinoderms. As their name implies, they all look like part of hedgehogs. Echinos is hedgehogs, and derma means skin in Greek. Thorny, spiny, spiky, pointy bits of extinct creatures. Exactly the kind of puzzle I like. This relatively long spine was likely grown on the protective plate of a crinoid crown, making it a crown of thorns. A piece of a shell, likely brachiopod. A plate from the crinoid crown, with some goosebumps on the surface. Oops, it flew away. Bryozoan branch. You can easily recognize bryozoans. They are covered with evenly spaced dots. Bryozoans are colonial organisms, and each dot represents a home for a tiny animal that lived there like in an apartment in some skyscraper building. A fragment of a crinoid stem with outgrowth caused by other animals attached to it, like a sponge, solitary coral, or other creature. Notice cute spiral shells of gastropods. There are plenty of those, and we would definitely miss them while collecting in the field back in hot and sunny Texas. It seemed that tiny pieces actually less beaten up and have more fine details. You just need to find a way to look at them closely. The place where the fossils were collected is a near dam of Lake Bridgeport. There are lots of outcrops in the area where weathering fossils lay under the sun, undisturbed, and slowly turning into dust. A brachiopod. Beautiful shell. Bits of calcareous crinoid stems look like pieces of Lego, except they were kept together by connective tissue. Crinoids catch their food using sticky mucus and slowly directing the mucus with the food particles towards mouth. We already made the video discussing the morphology of the crinoids, so let's move on. These round concretions are puzzling. Hmm, what could it be? Echinoids are complex, composite creatures with so many parts, and they look differently depending on the species. I'm placing a ruler to help you appreciate the size of the specimens. Most of them are only a few millimeters long. A piece of so-called lacy bryozoan, a branchy net-like colony. That's a gorgeous specimen. Probably a mouthpiece from some tough, outstanding crinoid or a sea urchin. Here, we have two pieces of plates from a sea urchin. This looks like a seed. It could be modern. I do not know for sure. But this is definitely a fossilized plant. A barely recognizable splinter of petrified wood. 
I guess that the take home message from this video would be do not neglect the matrix, collect it, and you can have extra fun slowly sifting through it in the comfort of your home. These pointy fragments are seldom but not too rare. The shape is a bit unusual, and I do not really know what they represent. Do you? This tiny star is a plate, one of multiple tiny plates that some crinoid species use to cover the base of their crowns, similar to body armor of a samurai or the scales of a fish. By the way, this video was a test. I'm considering buying some matrix samples with microscopic reptile teeth on eBay and see what I can find. Let me know if you want to join me for the next episode of Hunting for Mini Micro Fossils. The universe is full of surprises at macro and micro level. Find a few minutes to explore it with our channel or without. It does not really matter as long as you maintain that spark of curiosity that gave the humankind tremendous evolutionary advantage. Thanks for watching! Good luck in finding new fossils and stay safe! Bye-bye.